Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you right back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot. This is episode 7. In the last episode, we got the last of the colour gem. Well, tons of them actually. And we made it to the final boss. Well, the, the mini stage before the final boss. Now we're coming back and we're going to go through and collect all the gems we haven't got. We got Ansan Insanity Beach Jungle Rollers. Here we go. Because we're just going for normal gems now and there's no coloured gems left, we don't want to have to worry about dying. So we're all sorted really, we're good to go to get to the end of the game now, pretty easily getting all the gems. There might be the odd little tricky jumping bit because of the coloured gems being collected, but it's not that bad. It shouldn't be too bad. Come on then. Again, Wumpa Fruit aren't an issue either, so have a good run through and we'll be fine. Skunks! Are they skunks? They don't seem like the right colour for to be skunks, but they look a bit like them. I think I remember where the jammy thing is on this one. I think we should be good. Yeah, we're fine. Nice easy stage back near the start of the game again, so... Relaxing. A bit more relaxing than what we've been used to lately. Up here. It wasn't the one I was thinking of, but I remember it now. So I did. Got to finish the stage now, collecting every box. Would be good. It is a bit of repetition, and to go back through the game to do this. I agree with that, but the game is so short that it really doesn't matter. I still wanted to play tons more of this game even after finishing it, which is why I'm doing the Let's Play now. One of the reasons, anyway. So, you know, I quite like the going back to earlier stages aspect. It's so short and easy and fun. Five boxes. <laughs> oh god. God no. I suppose that bottom stage was just to help you realise what different boxes are like, innit? Because it had, seemed to have a mixture of the different types. Oh, is that two two boxes left? Yeah. Okay. Ah. It was a lot of the stages on the first island that we couldn't quite get the gems on yet because of coloured gems. So, we'll do it now. Should be all easy ones, you know? <laughs> One down! 88%? Should go up to 89 now, I think. Yeah? 89? Yeah, 19 gems out of 26. Got another 7 to go. Nice. <laughs> the loading times are my minor complaint about the game. I would love to get a pro just to get rid of these loading times a bit. They're not awful, don't get me wrong. It's not like they're game breaking, but when you're restarting the level over and over to get relics or gems or whatever. You want to get through it quickly? I do anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay, one of the gate ones with a gem on it. I know this one. It's right at the end. Your gem, so we've got a ways to go before we get to it. By the way, what other games would you recommend to me right now? New ones that have come out recently. I can't say I've noticed too many that I'm interested in, too many new ones, which is why I'm sort of loving the remasters and stuff. I've heard Horizon, Horizon's good, but it's not a sort of game I would play, it's open world and I'm not an open world fan. Breath of the Wild was open world, but I could still stomach it because it had Zelda aspects to it, a lot of Zelda aspects. If it wasn't zelda -y, I wouldn't have played past the first couple of hours, probably. It's probably one of my least favourite Zelda games, just because it's open world. I prefer the linearity of some of the Zelda games. That's what I like about them, in fact. I say linearity, I just mean, like, not huge worlds. You know, does that make sense at all? Probably not, but makes sense in my head. <laughs> okay. It's going well. I'm trying to think of what series to do next. I've had ideas. There was going to be a different series to this one. It wasn't going to be this next. But I only did it because I, I had such a strong urge to do it. So, um... Yeah, I think I know what my next series is going to be. It's going to be a short one. It's going to be blind. 
least I think it's short. It seems like the sort of game that'll be short. Anyways, here's our coloured gem thingy. Up and over. It gives you, like, a whole nother section to the stage. A tougher one. And that's what I like. It isn't just, like, a couple of boxes there. Like, with the first gem that we picked up. The first gem that needed a coloured gem. I think it was the first one, anyway. Well, the last one. There's a bit more to it. A bit more of a level. It unlocks more for you, you know? I like that. How do we get that box and come back here? I think I know. Ah, oh, okay, there's nothing back there anyway. Really. So did. Oh, shit. <laughs> no! <laughs> we shouldn't be far back, but oh. And we're back and ready to go. <laughs> Need more boxes. Five more. I think we're probably on track. So, if you go all the way to the right, and if there's any boxes there, and keep spinning along the way just in case. Screwed if it's TNT, but I don't think they would be that cool. There we go, I hit a box there. Could just jump over, but then we've missed that box all the way back there. So, we're going to have to take the dangerous route. Regardless of when, whether we want to or not, really. No checkpoints here though, by the looks of it. No! Speaking of checkpoints... Okay, I've gone to the background and gotten that little box back there. So we can finally carry on. Oh, little monkey shit. When they get rolling, they're a pain. Oh. Come on, we can do this. Don't die now. It has been a while. It's like the length of a full-on stage, just bit. Well, maybe not, not that much, but... You know, it's long enough to not want to die and go back to the checkpoint all the way back there. Back on the normal section of the stage kind of thing. <laughs> oh, we got more. I think the end is at the top by yeah. I think it is. One more box. Okay. I think the wrong by... Yeah, I just saw it. Yes. Another one done. 69 Wumper Fruit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Drink. Yeah. Two down. I wish there was one on the Hog Wild stages so you could have a longer one of them. I'd love it. So much. Okay, what's next then? Upstream. Ooh, a watery one. Okay. Right. Kick things off by getting our mask then. Might need it. This is on the easier of the two stages of this kind. Again. I think it's only like a jump on this one and then like a whole nother section of the stage like it was on the Great Gate then. So, you know, it's not a huge amount added to it. No, I'm wrong. There is a new section of the stage. I, yeah, there is. Never mind. Ignore me. Two faces already. Whoop. Here we go. Whew. I don't like that jump, but it. There. Just the one box, see? And it's easy to miss as well. Even with the gems direct new to where it is. And we got checkpoints so we can, you know, die if we want to. There's still another little secret in this stage, I think. Yeah, I'm sure there is. So, we'll get around to that now. Whoop. 
<laughs> you know what I was saying before I don't like these streamy ones? I don't mind them so much anymore. When I first played it, I was dying all over the place, missing the leaves, getting eaten by them, plants. But I don't mind them so much now. I don't know. It's alright. Right, two more gems to get. I was going to try and jump then. <laughs> that would have been a bugger. Yeah. Okay, just the extended level part I was talking about. It's the two boxes we need too. Just need to get back now. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Ah, here we go. Sorted. They're much of an extended level bit. It's just the timing of those purple plants that were a bit of a bugger, combined with the timing of the leaves moving around without you being able to do anything about it. Yeah. That was an easier one. The Great Gate was the toughest one so far of the ones we're coming back to. Right, next up we have got Rolling Stones. Okay. Not bad. I'm trying to think where it is though. I think... Hmm. <laughs> I think I know. I think I know. Okay, I know. Even if you don't remember, the game makes it obvious anyway. Right, okay. Quite a lot of boxes on this one. I think there are two stages in there. Two bonus stages. Yeah, yeah there are. And this will help a lot too. Shit, well... <sighs> Nearly died. Not that I would have been too bothered if I did die. This is the part where it's got a face in it and you don't want to miss it. Suit. <laughs> Saw the life. <laughs> Okay, two of each. One more of each to get. Oh, shit. <laughs> I shouldn't have fallen on that part. That was a bit... Uh, a bit stupid, I suppose. Oh, I didn't have a mask. I could have sworn I had a mask. Oh well. That's the reason I made... I went for that jump, because I thought I had a mask and we could just carry on. A bit quicker, but nope. I'll wait this time. There we go. See, a bit of patience. It's a long way in this game. I know it's the platformer, but don't mean I have to run around everywhere. I generally do, but <laughs> it's easier if you don't. Right, bomb stage number one. Should be the easy one. Yeah. And give our life. Don't really need it, but I wanted it. <laughs> there. Let's get going then. See what else we go in store for us. This old gem thingy. I thought it was busy. You can't just fall down to this part though, it's weird. Maybe it's because you couldn't get back up if you did fall down. Dragon. Because this one have come down, the platform one have. I don't know. Checkpoint. <laughs> I just think of these as checkpoints now. Okay. This should be fine anyway. <laughs> See? Fine. Try that again then. There. And again, just like last time, I'm not gonna bother risking my life to do that part. <laughs> there. See, I hope Crash Bandicoot 2 and 3 are so easy to get all the secrets on. Because I haven't had a hard time with this one at all. 
but who knows. I'm sure they figured out what was hard in this game. And I've made them harder <laughs> based on that. Anyways, that's another gem. We're going quite well. I think we might... Should we just go for all the gems this episode? Should we? <laughs> We could do. This one gem I'm thinking of that's going to be uh, not something I'm very good at, but we're not there quite yet, so okay. Uh, Native Fortress. Okay. It was the toughest one so far on the Great Gate, so will they make this one harder? <laughs> Might do. I never tried the directional buttons, you know. I don't... I'd rather use analog stick when I have the option. Why would you use... Why wouldn't you use the analog stick? I don't know. So if you can hear a razor in the background, you shouldn't be able to. As long as I haven't been lazy, I should be able to edit it out anyway. Partially. Ooh, checkpoint already. Going well. Nope, on that. There's fruit I would have left to be in, probably, but nope. What's the other way? Nice. I love how many checkpoints it gives you early in the game. I suppose all the way through, really, pretty much. Except for one or two stages. It's just that the stages get harder so you don't reach the checkpoints as quickly you die more. That's probably what it is. Oh! -ho. Bugger. I thought it was going to die then. I thought it was going to poke me down into the hole. But nope. We're good. Somehow. Come on, shield guys. Pain in the asses. And you know you are. That's why you do it. You hate me. The high ones first, I think. There we go. Shit, I shouldn't have done this. That was pretty bad, pretty ba bad timing on my part. <laughs> okay, let's go again then. Don't think we're too far back, are we? Nah. Right, we're back, I think. Well, now we are. Sorted. Got him. <laughs> Hi. We've got quite a few boxes. Might get quite a few in this bonus stage now. So, I think we've got to get to the top of that bit of gate by there, and then it's just all the way to the left, isn't it? No. Not many boxes in this one, after all. First island, I suppose. Don't give it too many. Or newer ones. Right. Let's get to it, then. Oh god. Okay, try that again. Again, I'm not going for the mask. Got checkpoint anyway, so who cares? No boxes on this dangerous path, so you might as well go back here. No boxes back here either, but I mean, you know, easier times. I never go on that front path. Why would you? Oh god, here we go. This weird challenge picks up on this stage. Thank you, checkpoint. Yeah. Here we go, yeah. Couple of lives. Meh. <laughs> Very meh. Right, here we go. Time for the stage to be expanded. Oh, I remember this bit now. It's like... You know in the 2D Mario games where you go up in the clouds when you find a beanstalk or something? That's what it reminds me of. A lot. <laughs> Alright, still quite a few boxes to go. Okay. Fine by me. <laughs> Just trying to get through it quicker. 
It's still another ele nine boxes. Eleven, my ass. We're going back down to the normal stage. It looks stunning, to be fair, with the clouds in the background and those colours. Yeah. But having said they look stunning, we're done. Never see those sort of visuals again. Which is what makes it so nice to... To get these secrets. They're sort of unique moments in the game that you wouldn't see otherwise, so... It feels amazing to actually collect the gems and... And see the secrets. Yeah. That's what I think, anyway. Yeah, a couple of boxes, this should be it, yeah? Ooh, one left. And I think it's at the top, though, so I think we're okay. Bollocks. Okay, back up. No! <laughs> oh shit, turning around as soon as I go there. God, I didn't hold down X. No! Oh my god! See, this is what makes the time trials hard on these stages. You can accidentally fall so easily. If you jump slightly out or whatever. There we go. Gem. Gem, gem, gem. Actually, I think we'll go for one more gem. I think that might be enough. And then we'll only have two more to get next time. Yeah, I think the next episode might be our last one. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, come on then, Womp Islands. Show us where you go. Come on then. <laughs> right. To Island 2. Wait, was that? Right, okay. Lost City done. Temple Ruins. Road to Nowhere. Oh, no. It's one of the pig ones. The easier of the pig ones. But one of the pig ones. The bridgy piggy ones. Yeah. Okay, come on then. Because we've done the harder one of the two, I'm hoping we'll have an easy time with this one. He says. He hopes. There won't be so many turtle bits. Be one or two of them, but not so many. Right. Ho -ho. We're doing a lot better this time through, anyway. So far. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm proud. I'm proud of myself for that part. Jumping over the hog without even trying. Oh, bloody hell. Watch me die as I brag. Ugh. Yeah. Come on then. Ah, oh, it's like a little puzzly bit now. I did it by luck because I had the Aku Aku mask on me, and I still do, so we should be fine. You can't get to that one yet, you can't spin high enough and get... Well, you might be able to if you clip it just about, but I've never been able to, so... Go for that. Did you make something appear back here? Or is that later? Later. Okay. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Shit. That wasn't meant to happen. Okay. Sorted, though. That's exactly what I did last time, because I had the Aku, the Aku mask. I got through it. <laughs> Luck. Somehow, the TNT box is back. Don't ask me how. It must be when you hit this exclamation mark. It makes another one appear by you. It must be that. But... I don't really know. So did. That's all we need the gem for. But yeah, I love how the secrets are done in this game. It's perfect. This game is perfectly done. It is a bit short, the game in general. But I think that adds to the perfectness to, of it. Yeah. Maybe I'm going a bit far by saying perfect. But... I do think it's really good, though. And I can't imagine 2 and 3 being much better. I know it has the hub worlds and stuff. Which, you know, I loved the look of back in the day. But that doesn't mean... 
I doubt getting on the bonus. But that doesn't mean the stages will be any better, you know? Okay, let's uh, let's see if I can get on the bonus this time without dying. <laughs> what if we landed on one of those spiky rocks? That would have been uh, depressing. <laughs> right. Not that other deaths have been less depressing, but you know. I always forget that TNT is a box as well, but they that one. I know TNTs in general are, but I always forget that one is. <laughs> Two more boxes to get. That's good. Yeah. I can't quite remember where the boxes are. Probably just at the end, hopefully. Ah, okay. Okay, it's another one of these. I forgot about that. Oh, do you have to jump or... I don't know. I think, anyway. I'm not going to risk not jumping. <sighs> ah, at least you don't have to go back across those bridgy bits. Yes! 94% <laughs> should be. Ba -ba -ba -da. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all we're going to do today. Let's see what the next stage is first, though. In a moment. Something that bugs me a little bit. When you save your game. And. You reload it. It takes you back to your latest stage. Not where you saved it from. So if you're trying to collect gems on the first island. And you're actually at the end on the third island. Every time you load the game up. You'll have to run all the way back through the other islands. To get to the first one. It's not a huge thing. Don't get me wrong. But. You know. It's there. Anyways. This has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we go for Boulder Dash. And we're going to finish the game off. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, folks. See you again in a bit.